Sister, I have another question. The Lord Jesus was crucified as a sin offering to redeem man. We have accepted the Lord and obtained salvation. Why do we still have to accept Almighty God's work of judgment and purification? We believe the Lord has already forgiven us, forgiven us all our sins. The Lord doesn't see us as sinners. Why does the Lord need to do the work of judgment on His return? About this question, can you please explain more? Yes, sure. This is what so many people don't understand, and a question we absolutely have to look into. We need fellowship about this. In the Age of Grace, the Lord Jesus did the work of redemption. It was not God's work of judgment in the last days to save all of man. What the work of redemption achieved was a sacrifice to atone for the sins of man through the Lord Jesus' work. He saved us from the clutches of Satan, made us repent our sins and accept God's salvation. He qualified us to go before God and enjoy God's grace and blessing. That was the real significance of the work of redemption. But many people don't understand. They always think that the Lord Jesus' work of redemption granted complete salvation to all mankind into the kingdom of heaven. That notion comes from man's imagination. We were given redemption by the Lord Jesus, that much is true. But did that change our sinful natures? Does the fact that God forgave us our sins mean we've truly been holy? Then why do we still sin so frequently? Can those who often sin really be approved by the Lord? No, they can't. Not many people have considered this problem. And we've never seen anyone truly understand this problem. The Lord Jesus redeemed us from a state of sin. We were forgiven our sins, granted salvation, and this is a fact. But then, as we believe in and follow the Lord, we also often betray the Lord's teachings and give in to our fleshly desires to sin. We do things like lie, commit fraud, deceive, engage in intrigue, seek fame and fortune. We give in to vanity, lust for wealth, and follow evil worldly trends. In times of bitterness and trial, we often misunderstand and blame God, or even leave and betray God. When God's work doesn't align with man's notions, we carelessly judge, condemning God. At the same time we follow God, we worship man and follow man. People live in a cycle of sinning and repenting that's hard to escape. We can't free ourselves from the binds and control of our satanic nature. This is a fact. And although the Lord Jesus' work of redemption is done, people's sins are forgiven, and people are no longer cursed for violating God's laws, and can come before God to pray to Him and enjoy the entirety of God's grace. That does not mean God's work of saving mankind is over, because the sinful nature inside us still remains. People are still compelled by their satanic nature to resist and betray God. People have no knowledge of God and can't fear God and shun evil. Even less can they reach complete obedience to God and the sanctity with God. These people haven't been gained by God. We all know God is holy and righteous. Unsanctified people can't see the Lord. God won't allow the impure or corrupt into the kingdom of heaven. This is decided by God's righteousness. So in the last days, God will, according to His management plan to save mankind, carry out His work of judgment and chastisement, remove the shackles and restraints of the corrupt mankind and the root causes of sin, and help mankind completely escape the influence of Satan, be saved by God, and enter God's kingdom. Let's look at two more passages from Almighty God. Almighty God says, A sinner such as you, who has just been redeemed, and has not been changed or been perfected by God, can you be after God's heart? For you, you who are still of your old self, 
It is true that you were saved by Jesus and that you are not counted as sinners because of the salvation of God, but this does not prove that you are not sinful and are not impure. How can you be saintly if you have not been changed? Within, you are beset by impurity, selfish and mean. Yet, you still wish to descend with Jesus. You should be so lucky. You have missed a step in your belief in God. You have merely been redeemed, but have not been changed. For you to be after God's heart, God must personally do the work of changing and cleansing you. If you are only redeemed, you will be incapable of attaining sanctity. In this way, you will be unqualified to share in the good blessings of God. For you have missed out a step in God's work of managing man, which is the key step of changing and perfecting. And so you, a sinner, who has just been redeemed, are incapable of directly inheriting God's inheritance. Through this work of judgment and chastisement, man will fully come to know the filthy and corrupt substance within him, and he will be able to completely change and become clean. Only in this way can man be worthy to return before the throne of God. All the work done this day is so that man can be made clean and be changed. Through judgment and chastisement by the word, as well as refinement, man can cast away his corruption and be made pure. In the last days, God will completely save man from Satan's influence. Make man to turn to God, be compatible with Christ, becoming holy people who fear God and obey God. The only way to achieve that is through God's work of judgment and chastisement in the last days. Only through the judgment and revelations in God's words can people finally come to know the truth of how they've been corrupted by Satan and the essence of their nature and know the righteousness, majesty, and intolerance of offense in God's disposition. Only in this way can people produce true remorse and repentance, wills that hate the flesh and betray Satan, and hearts that fear God truly escape the dark influence of Satan, turn to God, and be gained by God. Only such people will finally be those who are saved and enter God's kingdom. Thanks be to God. All these years, I've often suffered and been confused over the cycle of sin and repentance. Hearing your fellowship today, I feel liberated. Even though we've been redeemed, our sinful nature hasn't changed, which is why we can't achieve true sanctity and are unqualified to enter God's kingdom. We need the purification of God's judgment. Like it says in the Bible, you shall therefore be holy, for I am holy. To cast off our sinful nature, be holy and enter God's kingdom. We need to undergo God's judgment of the last days. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Thank the Lord. Your fellowship is wonderful. It's answered so many of my doubts. Looks like God's work of judgment in the last days is meaningful and necessary. We need to read more of Almighty God's words. Hearing your fellowship on Almighty God's words, it feels very practical and contains truths. Yes. We want to seek those truths. Can you loan us this book, The Word Appears in the Flesh? Of course I can. People find answers to difficulties and confusion about believing in God in Almighty God's words. The word appears in the flesh is an expression of Almighty God. Anyone who wants to seek can read it. Believing in God didn't break the law. Why do you arrest us? The Communist Party says there is no God. As you believe in Almighty God, you have broken the law all the more. 
Doesn't the government say that everyone enjoys freedom of religious belief? Because only those who obey God's will can enter the kingdom of heaven and gain eternal life. This is decided by God's righteous disposition and cannot be changed.